Now, your first warned weather forecast from meteorologist Owen Zarley. Well, good morning and welcome back. We have a much nicer start to the day than what we've had these past couple days. We've had rain, we've had fog, all kinds of weather these past couple days, but we got a nice clear sky to start our day here at the Freeport uh, SkyTrack camera here at the Park Hills Golf Course brought to you by Rockford Career College where we have just a little bit of clouds coming through. If we take a look at satellite and radar, we really don't have too many showers right now. Most of those are staying off to our northeast near the lake. We could get a couple sprinkles though within this cloud cover as we start our days just because we might have just enough moisture to squeak out a couple sprinkles. Temperatures right now, they are pretty consistent all across the state line. 68 here in Rockford, 68 in Dixon, 68 in Freeport, and 67 up in Monroe. Temperatures today, they'll climb up to about 79 degrees with those morning clouds sticking around, but we'll get some sunshine through the afternoon. With that sunshine, it'll help fuel a couple very isolated showers through the afternoon. Into tonight, we'll drop down to a low of 66 degrees, clearing through the night, being cool and calm as well through the night. Into tomorrow, though, we'll get back up into the 80s, 80 degrees tomorrow, partly cloudy skies. We could get a very slim chance for some showers, mainly off to the east, though, as we'll see here on Futurecast, right around 12 p.m. today. We're under partly cloudy skies, but you do see some of those isolated showers still around the area, and those showers pretty much just stick around all through the afternoon today. We do still have those isolated showers here about 7 o'clock, but as the sun goes down and we lose that instability, those showers will begin to die off pretty quickly here at 1 a.m. on Sunday morning. We do see that we just have some partly cloudy skies, and then do clear out through most of Sunday. With that clearing, this could help build a little bit of instability just a few of those showers, but as of right now, you just see them mainly off to the west, more near the lake and the city. Most of those showers will stay off to the east and we will stick with those clear skies through most of Sunday. And that sticks around into Monday morning as well where we stay clear. But temperatures this past, actually these past couple of weeks have really been fairly average for this time of year. We, we haven't been reaching those 90 degree temperatures or those upper 80 temperatures as well that we're normally used to in August, mainly because we've had consistent high pressure down to the southwest. That's really keeping those hot and warm temperatures off to the west in the plains, cooler temperatures off to the east, and we are right in the middle of that. So that's keeping us pretty much right in those average temperatures as you see. Upper level winds as well are pretty much northerly right around that high pressure, giving us a little bit of cooler air, but not much uh, warmer air, and we are staying pretty much average. But by the time we get to Friday, we get that northerly flow to break apart a little bit and change more easterly and with that warmer temperatures start to be funneled in from the south you see these warmer and darker colors starting to come in by Friday afternoon in terms of moisture we're going to be really dry this next week moisture content right now is a little bit higher that's what's fueling those showers that we're having today and possibly tomorrow but you see by Monday morning we are completely void of any moisture and this sticks around pretty much all week up until Friday Thursday though we are still very dry in terms of moisture Friday we get a little bit of moisture and by Saturday that moisture content is much higher. So expect those precipitation chances to rise later this week. And you can see that here in the seven day where we are pretty much dry after today. Today and tomorrow, we do have those isolated chances for some showers. Tomorrow is very isolated, but through the rest of the week, we have plenty of sunshine and clear weather. Back to you, George. Oh, and thank